There's a reef. That's my Christmas reef. That's his Christmas reef. There's a hole on the roof, babe. That's not good. Uh, okay. Oh my god, let's go. This is Stop, babe. There's actual heirlooms in here and shit. This is my grandparents' I house. Uh, I don't know what this garbage is. God. This woman, this is the legacy, the legend house of my grandpa, Grandpa Rubenjack. Second generation union electrician since um, electricity was invented. He was a hard working man. And um, crazy. one of his daughters, you know, took pos possessional ownership of the home. I'm a grandkid. And uh, I'm trying to represent the legend of the man himself. And uh, this woman's owning the property. All I got was a legend. All I got was a legend. All I inherited was a legend. I didn't get the property, but this place is in. I knew a few hoarders, but I've never been in their house. The thing is, the lady who who took possession of this house, my aunt, she is in no position to represent the family or owning the family's home out here in Elgin in any way. This is my backyard I grew up in. Here's my girlfriend. Pretty big house. My uncle built the extension on this place. Here's our cherry tree, my grandpa's cherry tree. I used to walk around down here. Here's the pine trees I used to see when I was a kid. We had a pool right there. And then the more pine trees. Mm -hmm. Big farm, you know. Now it's just shut off and rancid. Uh, well, here's the down to the barn down here. When I was a kid, there was a barn owl down here. Mm -hmm. This is kind of where my brother's room was. My grandparents' room was here. My brother's room was here. And now that uh, Dolores took hold, hold ownership of this. Dolores, women don't really do anything or accomplish anything in life except sit around and be shitty. You know, if I had ownership of this house, it would be uh, a legend. It is a legend. My grandfather is legendary. This woman took this place and filled it with trash and rents it out to a construction company. This is uh, my farm. We used to come down here. I used to have a, I climbed a tree here. And I'd come down here, my grandpa would My grandpa would take us on a tractor down here as kids, down to the barn, to the pasture, and we'd pick pumpkins as kids. And then we'd come back up here, and I had a lot of really good farm memories. Like I grew up on a farm in Chicago, this shit's all real. But one fat, crazy, fat piece of shit aunt, Dolores Rubinchuk, fucking stole the house, cheated out everybody, cheated out the whole family, pissed everybody off. That, in turn, cut off all of our communication with each other. No one wanted to talk to anybody because this bitch did this. So I had to put together the pieces of the puzzle. I lost my entire youth. My whole 20s went down the drain. My uncle Terrence stole my mom's house, in turn. It was a sequence of events that led to one huge disaster for my life. And then here I am, back to pick up the pieces, because I guess all I, you know, the legend of this shit is insane. You know, nobody put two and two together and said, well, I did. I said, hey, you know, it's kind of strange and weird that my family had all these, like, really high up positions in society, and nobody seems to give a shit about me. Or, you know, whatever, like, they're always trying to fuck me over. But, um, this is our living room. Ah, oh, everything's... Filled to the gills. Filled to the gills. <gasps> There's pictures. There's pictures on the wall. Those are my family members. Look at this. This shit is filled. Boxes full of garbage. Woman was such a horrible person. Hoarder to the maximum. And just... I really wish that I was able to preserve the legacy, you know, and the legend of my family a little bit better here. Yeah, this is where I grew up.